Hello, in this video I'm going to be looking at some uh, terrain crate mystery box items from Mantic Games. Hello there, it's Sven here. Um, and as I said in the little intro there, today I'm going to be looking at a mystery box that I picked up from Mantic Games. So, um, Mantic, as you may know, do these terrain crates. I've got a couple of these terrain crate products already. I've picked a few but in the past, different types, different ones. And essentially what you get is a load of like, different scenery bits that you can use for 28mm games. So a couple of weeks ago, um, Mantic Games had the summer sale. And part of that summer sale was they had some... Um, terrain crate mystery boxes and the mystery boxes I think they had them in like you know one two four six terrain crate um, mi like mixes in a box so I opted for a six uh, terrain crate box which is, is here um, so we'll have a quick look and see exactly what I got in my mystery box so I'll, un I'll, I'll unpack it all from the box put it on the table here uh, try and work out which bit is which um, and then we'll see what I've actually got. Okay, so in the box, there was this leaflet here that had kind of four of the terrain crates kind of detailed out. So there was Bellevue Square, Bellevue Hospital, Cozy Cottage, and Peaceful Park is what they've got. And so what I've done is using that as a kind of a guide, I've split things out. So I think what I've got here is that is, this little pile here is Bellevue Square. Um, I think that little pile there is Cozy Cottage. This bit here looks like it's Peaceful Park. Um, then we've got two sets, I think, of Bellevue Hospital. And then there was an extra couple of bits here, so I think that's possibly part of Cozy Cottage. In fact, I think it might be, because, yeah, that's a, that is a couch and a double bed. Um, and then we've got here... What looks like it's a piece, it's not detailed on this leaflet, but it's like a forklift truck and some pallets. And look on the website, it looks like it comes from the city, um, a, a cityscape box that they do. And then the other thing that I got was, and I think these go along with the Bellevue, uh, Bellevue Square, is some of more of these market trader stalls and kind of wares. So when I ordered the, the mystery box, uh, as I say, uh, well, I'll go over the costs in a minute, but when I ordered the mystery box, I wasn't sure how it was going to be supplied. Because as I say, uh, Mantic do do terrain crates, so I'll be showing this one in another video. We'll unbox that one. But they do do terrain crates like this, and so I wasn't sure what I was going to get. Like a number of these, or like I've got here, uh, a mix of, of different items, different bags, you know, different bits from different kits. Now, as I say, it looks like I've got several full sets and then some extra bits like thrown in to equate to like six terrain crates worth um so let's say what i'll do is um i'll actually unbag these and then we'll have a quick look through them and see exactly what they look like what the quality is like and then we'll go over the value in the box and obviously what you get in the terrain crates themselves normally okay so i kind of unbagged everything so we'll have a bit of a dive in so obviously I've unbagged, I didn't unbag some of the duplicate bits um, to where I've got multiples of like the market stalls and the hospital kit. I've kind of just unbagged some of it so you can get to the idea. So this is essentially one set. So this is the market square, the town square. So there's some really nice detail pieces that you've got there. Quite a nice statue, uh, you know, obviously a military general type thing. Classic British kind of red telephone box. We've got the market stalls and I say the market stalls come with... I'll see if I can get some close-ups of these, but loads of like sets of market goods, you know, uh, various fruit and veg. And obviously, you've got the option to, to glue those on if you wanted to, or, you know, use them at other parts um, of your setups. We've got some street signs, some lampposts. We've got some various kind of like cafe chairs, post boxes, signs. Um, you know, you've got a little, like kind of to go with the cafe chairs, you've got a little parasol table a little cafe table for outdoor dining and we've got some um, stuff for like a general store so we've got some shelves some stacks of tins so then we move over to I think the peaceful park so this is quite a nice one because you've got a couple of sets of these uh, these trees so quite haunted trees really and we've got a play park we've got some tree stumps again we've got another set of the the, the cafe chairs unfortunately I did manage to 
break that one. I was trying to straighten it out a little bit. It was a little bit warped, but that's easy glueable. Again, so we've got another set of the, the cafe bits with the street sign and the lamppost and things, which is nice because it means we can obviously use those in either set. So this is one of the hospital sets. So this is going to be a really nice one. Again, depending on the games you're playing and set the, the the dioramas you're setting up, but we've got a few hospital beds. We've got some gurneys. Um, we've got some surgeons tools, we've got photocopies of office equipment, water bottles, we've got some drips, chairs, tables, that kind of thing. And then if we go across to the cosy cottage setup, again some nice pieces in here. So we've got again some good bits to furnish a little house. And then the last bit was the cityscape bit where we've got a dumpster, some pallets, some boxes and of course the forklift. So I mean I'm quite chuffed with what I've got here because essentially I've already got ideas of where I can use everything here in the games that we play so because I've I bought these with 7 TV in mind however you know there's various bits of like the the outdoor bits at the market square stuff would be nice for maybe Marvel Crisis Protocol um, it might be a little bit smaller scale but I think it'll fit in well with the scenery that we already use for that so some of the official scenery from Atomic Mass Games. Um, you know, the, the scale's not going to be too too much out. I mean, in the statue as well, you know, things are that way. They're, they're, they're not really going to be in or out of scale, depending on where you use them. So, again, they're going to be nice scenery dressing, especially for games like Marvel Crisis Protocol, where, of course, um, scenery items in the game can be used offensively. You know, where you can throw people into statues, you could pick up a marker stall, throw it at someone, etc. Um, same goes for the the forklift truck, the dumpster, the pallets, etc. I think, you know, all good for things like Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, I think I'll get the most use out of these, as I say, for 7TV. Um, because, you know, the, 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 the spooky trees that was in the, the, the park set and the the playground set and things and even at the cafe bit would be really nice to use in like 7 TV pulp maybe in like the lurkers from the deep to, to add a bit of extra like horror to it maybe something like the children of the fields um expansions to get that folk horror feel you know especially a british or an english uh, market town setup would be great for that kind of feel um and again all this kind of stuff just dresses and just makes the game a little bit more immersive when you're in so i quite like it for that um, now whether you're going to be using these for um, a gaming with as game pieces or diorama pieces they are all super detailed so there's a little little stove that comes here in the cottage set and I say you know the detail on that whether you're using that for a gaming piece or a diorama piece or you know um, you're gonna you're gonna get the required detail and it's all good quality it's all nice and sharp um, because it is a it is a plastic um, and it's a good quality plastic as well so uh, apart from you know there was one bit that was bent I should have really used a bit of heat to try and bend that into shape um, when I broke the the cafe table um, but yeah so there's also some really nice bits of detail in all of these um, pieces uh, so I'm looking forward to getting these as they used because uh, the other thing I'm going to be using these for is like for when we're role playing you know using them it's just a little bit of setting a scene you know when we do get the combat bits we like to use minis we like to kind of throw some terrain down just so you get an idea of where you're playing so again these would be quite good for throwing down there so in terms of costs so i say normally these terrain crates it's hard to work out exactly what the value of this box would have been had i bought it all at full price because as i say mantic generally tend to do several different terrain crates that have the same pieces in so as i mentioned that you know like where you've got the the market day uh the bellevue square market day to get a little cafe set up uh you also get that in the park set so you can kind of hit hazard a guess at these but generally these terrain crates for the smaller ones um go like start at about 15 to 20 quid but they can go a little bit like 60 quid for some of the bigger ones and considering I got all this here uh, for sixty quid, I think the sheer like bang for the buck uh, you're getting out of all this here, uh, I think it's well worth it. Even though you're taking the gamble on the mystery, I knew looking at 
the the kind of ter ter terrain crates that they did in advance that whatever I got I'd be able to use um, and I say you know like I've got lots of scenarios in mind for 7 TV settings um, for even using them in things like bolt action where you can actually use some of these bits because some of them aren't really modern time period some of the bits will fit in if you wanted to do a bit of dressing in a, a bolt action game a little terrain piece with a bit more character you could throw some of these bits in there um as i say i'm probably gonna start thinking about things like my 7 tv secret base and actually theming some of the areas in that to match so where i've got the hospital kit maybe i'll now switch one of the little areas in the the secret base that i got for 7 tv from crooked dice maybe making that you know like an infirmary and then you can place an objective in there and theme it around that during a game so overall as i say this mantic mystery box i'm i'm thrilled to bits with it uh, obviously it'll take us a little while to get through and paint all this and work out which bits i'm going to use where it will all get used and i think you'll see some of it popping up in our games as we start playing more and more games as we start getting a bit together again and, and playing some more games on camera so whether marvel's Cry marvel crisis protocol um 7 tv any other 28 mil games where this kind of scenery will fit in you'll start seeing that hit our table so keep an eye out for that um keep an eye out for mantic games because i say they regularly have little sale events where you can pick up things cheap and i say i've picked up terrain crates in the past so um you may have seen if you followed our social media uh we've played some games of 7 tv apocalypse and things in the past where I've used some crashed cars and some barriers and they came from one of the Mantic, I think it's the Fear the Walking Dead range. Uh, again, I got those super cheap a few years ago in one of the sales and they're lovely just to put down. So keep your eye on Mantic, so follow their Facebook page. I'll put links to the Mantic Games Facebook page and of course their website below. But I recommend you keep an eye on there because when they do have these sales and you can grab these terrain crates, um, you're going to get your values worth when they do do them but as i say you know they are limited when they do go and i think this sale was only for like a week and a half uh this summer sale so make sure you are following them to jump on and get those bargains when you can speaking of following of course make sure you're following our channel so you know make sure you go to our facebook or instagram or twitter and of course if you're on the youtube and you're not subscribed make sure you give us a subscribe like and share this video um just to make sure you know we can keep bringing you content like this and uh, we can keep showing you our games and, and what we're doing around the hobby. As I say, that was a nice little roundup with the mystery box terrain crate that I got from Mantic Games. If you want to see more stuff like this, if you want to see us do some more stuff with this, if you want to see me build and paint or make some diorama pieces from any of this stuff, throw some stuff in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. But until the next time, we will see you soon. Ta-ra!